I have an Onyx exoskeleton. It's a lower body exoskeleton designed by Lockheed Martin for use by soldiers. We've had them on uh, riflemen, artillerymen, combat medics and combat engineers, uh, and logistics and sustainment folks. So the system is really designed around knee intensive activities. So climbing stairs, uh, descending stairs, climbing hills, descending hills, uh, up and down and through uh, underground culverts, that type, of, uh, that type of activity. Those are the areas where the exoskeleton shine. Uh, we've just completed phase one of uh, OTA with the Soldier Center, uh, Combat Capabilities Development Command Soldier Center uh, out of Native Massachusetts. And we just finished with them. We've been working with soldiers up at Fort Drum, uh, up in New York, uh, out of all those different MOSs. And we've been testing and evaluating the system against that, improving it based upon soldier feedback to say, look, I like I like a belt that fits like this. It's got to be comfortable. Can't no abrasions. We want uh, toolless adjustments. We want all these different activities. And then there's been the Lockheed Martin side, which has been development of all this new technology that we've been feeding into the program. So things like a new application that uh, records all the soldiers' information, creates a, a new database to go ahead and feed uh, information about, hey, how's the soldier feeling? What's he doing? We can now collect uh, information on the soldier using our EndoSuit program, where we're measuring heartbeat, respiration, perspiration, uh, and EMG signals. So we know the level of fatigue of the soldier. We know how he's performing. We no longer have to ask the soldier, hey, how are you feeling? The sergeant could go ahead and look at a tablet and go, hey, this guy's good. Or, hey, this guy needs a little bit of help. We now have the ability to capture that information and use that information. This is the coolest environment to go ahead and do this. AUSA is a great place. We meet a bunch of people here. Uh, it gives us a, an opportunity to really talk to the, the decision makers, as well as an awful lot of users of the technology. Those guys are giving us feedback about what they want, what they want to see in the technology, and the decision makers are able to kind of listen to that in real time. There's no filter. And so between developer, decision maker, and user, we get that all together.